All right, what's up guys? Um, I'm not sure if this is gonna be its own video or if I'm gonna throw it into another video or what. So I don't know when you guys are gonna be seeing this, but you will you know, be seeing it. But um, I am going to throw on the SLP silencer that I got for my sled. Um, wanted to get something a little bit lighter, add a little bit of power, and especially be able to put the um, little cooker on it. That way I can have hot food while we're out doing whatever this winter so um i'm just gonna throw that on there real quick and show that to you guys so like i said i don't know if it's gonna be its own video or if it's just gonna be uh part of probably like working on the trailer or something or something else with the other snowmobiles but uh yeah gonna get that on and super excited to see what it sounds like so i'll give you a comparison both ways So that's just kind of how it's up. Man, I miss that two-stroke smell. Not only just because I rode a four-stroke all last season, but just because, man, I haven't ridden a snowmobile in a year. Oh, so ready for winter. But uh, you can see a lot of smoke. We're going to let that clear out. But um, you see, like, yeah, it sounds great, but it doesn't sound quite as good as it can, but it's also not going to sound that super annoying trail can. And I know, obviously, I didn't rev it up there a ton. Um, I don't have it lifted or anything. So can't rev it, otherwise the traction starts spinning. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and uh, pull that off and get the new one on. All right, nothing to do but to do it. So uh, let's start getting the old one out and get this new one in. <laughs> So yeah, that was kind of a pain in the butt to get out, but it is out. So um, take this little rubber thing out of here and uh, just re-put it in here. Um, the instructions say to keep it, so keep it. And then I'm going to hang on to all of the factory springs because um, they give you new ones, but you know, who knows? I might want to keep the old ones, but uh, yeah, so. Um, hang on to all the factory springs, you know, you never know, but this thing's pretty heavy. Um, so here is the new one. Like I said, it is a SLP silencer. Uh, I'll have it linked in the description of this video. Um, we're also going to be throwing on these PowerMad um, LEDs. So just to kind of go with the hand guards that I put on, they're just going to go in there. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put those on. I don't know if I'll have them wired up right now but at least have them on there and the wire is routed so got that one out and I mean wow the difference is in weight is significant I mean really significant maybe we should go weigh these real quick let's go weigh these see how much they actually weigh so, I don't know if you guys can see that, but that weighs 18.8 pounds. Seven, oh, one away. Um, it's almost so light, it doesn't register it, but for a second it's at seven and a half pounds. So, like I said, 10 pounds lighter in overall weight. That's a huge difference, so let's go get this bad boy thrown in. Let's 
So it came with all this heat tape, um, so that's what you just saw me installing there. Um, doesn't have to be pretty, but it's just kind of enough to protect down in there. So uh, the heat tape's all in. Now uh, we'll get this little rubber boot that came with it in, and then all the hardware on, and then we're done. Pretty simple process. I don't know what you want. Let's have a bit of fun till I downfall. My love, if you feel like I do right now, don't say you're on the run to the other side. So not a terribly difficult uh, install. Um, but uh, there's a few things that I was just kind of confused about, didn't quite understand. You know, I started messing with it, I figured it out. Um, like this bracket that they show, like, goes up here for this, which I don't need that. Um, I didn't get the front pipe, I only got the can. So, like, I would understand it if I got the full exhaust system. But I just got the, the, the can, so I was like, okay, well, this one right here um, actually came from the back side on the other one, but worked perfectly right there to keep that secured to that. Um, got the rubber seal around the bottom, and then I put both up there. So, I mean, it is part of the sled. Um, there isn't any kind of like seal for this, but it seems pretty well mated, but uh, We'll start it up and see if it smokes out of there or not, but uh, really easy install. Super happy with it. Looks phenomenal. Way easy to get in here now, so that's awesome. So uh, we just took 10 pounds off the front of this already super light Polaris, which is awesome. So uh, let's uh, fire it up and see how it sounds. Uh, like I said, we're not going to be high revving or anything, but we at least uh, get a uh, start and see what it sounds like. I don't know what you want Let's have a bit of fun Till I downfall My love If you feel like um, So I don't know if you could see there But it is coming out of this spot and it looks like there's supposed to be a gasket there but I didn't get one with it there's nothing on the factory exhaust so I don't know if maybe I lost it because I have had this sitting up in my room for a little while I took it apart um, I don't know if I lost it if it didn't come with it but pretty sure I ordered it um, looks like it was a Walker Evans part so should hopefully be what I need but um, all in all sounds awesome um, not super different from what it already was, which is good because I didn't want a huge difference. But uh, just enough to, didn't want it being super different, but just enough to, you know, sound good and uh, take away that 10 pounds. And look at it, just, I mean, this just cleared up so much space in that compartment. I mean, easier to get the brake, coolant, pull starter. I mean, just that just clears so much space, which is just phenomenal. So, um, yeah, <coughs> a little smoky in here. Love that two-stroke smoke. Um, but uh, yeah, all in all, looks good. So before I even put a single mile on this sled, uh, we are already upgrading it, which is awesome. So so more, so much more excited for winter. Okay, so we got the new silencer put on. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you it one more time in here. So we're gonna go ahead and start it up. Show you what it's gonna sound like, but in here so we've got the silencer on we've got our cooker in here um, the other thing I just finished up was getting the LED lights installed um, I've got these all bundled up there's an SAE plug up in here and I just plug those into that with a splitter because I'm also running a charger in the handbag that way I can charge my phone everything like that so got all that in so let's go ahead and uh, fire it up and take it for a quick little ride.
as you've heard, um, it's not too loud when you're just going at normal speed. I wasn't going for super loud can. I didn't want anything to be obnoxious when I do take it on the trails. Um, but as you hear when we blip it, it's still got a really good sound. Sounds great. Uh, like I said, the attributes of this, it just made it a lot nice. I was able to run that cooker on the exhaust. Uh, it's 11 pounds lighter than the factory one. And uh, it is supposed to gain us a little bit of power. How much that actually does, we don't know. But uh, hey, feels great on the sled. It was awesome to get it out for its first time. Obviously we didn't show you any real riding. Uh, the weather conditions weren't the greatest. It was enough just to kind of hit the trails for a little bit. Definitely stay tuned because we're going to the UP as soon as there's enough snow. So once again, I'm Vinny with Caswell Customs. As always, if you enjoyed the video, smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel to see our videos in the future. I'll see you in the next one. You stole my heart of gold After my silver soul Can you take it?